Hey YouTube, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR. Out here once again on, believe it or not, the lovely Road Glide Ultra. Checking out some of this Pennsylvania fall foliage today. Uh, decided to take a little bit of a after work rip. Uh, usually this is about the time I uh, like to curl up on the recliner in this weather but uh, it's not a bad day today I came home I thought man it's uh, well, showing 55 degrees out here and I thought man that's a great temperature to get on the bike and take a little rip so here we are out here once again joined together by the power of video and YouTube and the power of comments So hopefully everybody had a decent work day today, or if you didn't start yet, maybe uh, hope you have a decent work night, uh, work evening, I guess. But our work day is done, and uh, it always feels good to get the work day completed, especially that first day of the week, huh? that Monday. Uh, today is Monday, October the 22nd. And uh, thanks to everybody out there for uh, all the well wishes and uh, trying to get me back on my feet. I, um, the actual, the actual um, antibiotics I'm still taking, I got, uh, I think, actually two more pills. So tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock I'll take the last antibiotic and uh, that will be over with. So... But yeah, so I'm about, uh, probably about 90%, I guess, 95%. So I figured it was time to go out and take a little, take a little ride on the road glide. All right, it never hurts to get out here and take a little uh, spin. So I was thinking with the holiday season's coming right around the corner. I mean, heck, it's going to be Halloween here in a couple, what, two weeks? And, uh... So yeah, that's going to be, uh, kind of wonder what they're trying to keep you with that big old fence there. Oh, that's a pretty high fence. Yeah, Halloween's coming right around the corner. And uh, next thing you know, it'll be Thanksgiving. And then uh, Christmas. And then back into the new year then we'll all be looking forward to the new riding season here in the north to get the uh, get the bikes back out and uh, start riding once again so anyway my question is to you folks and I know we do a lot of it is uh, online shopping you know we have more and more malls around here I'd like to also hear about your areas because I don't know where everybody lives but in the, uh, in the Pennsylvania area in general, more and more of our shopping malls, shopping malls, <laughs> our shopping malls are actually closing down. I mean, uh, they're folding up. You know, it's getting harder and harder to go out and you know, uh, try on a new pair of boots or uh, look for a nice suit and try it on and get it tailor-made. Look at that white horse up here. Can you see that? Yeah, that's a pretty looking horse there. Pretty crazy looking gallop, huh? I was waiting for it to run into the other horse. Like, hey, bud. So anyway, yeah. So I mean, uh, the malls are starting to close down more and more. And uh, seems to be that we're going to be wind up. That we're uh, going to be living in an online shopping world. And uh, it seems funny to me because growing up, Growing up, I didn't know anything different than um, actually. Um, we had uh, towns, I guess you'd call them town squares, town shopping towns, shop. You know where, you know, we'd park our car in the street somewhere, and you and you'd walk around the the, the town. So, um, and those were. I mean, that was the, the thing back in the day, right? Back in the 70s, that was the thing you did. Uh, you walked around with your parents, you went into different little stores, 
uh, here in PA, I don't know if it was everywhere, but it was the Murphy's uh, Five and Dime. Uh, they called it the Five and Dime. I don't think anything in there was a nickel or a dime, but they called it the Five and Dime. And I tell you what, they had some of the best potatoes and gravy. And uh, to this day, I don't know if they were instant or not. They most, well, they could have been. Who knows? Was there instant potatoes in the 70s? I don't know. But anyway, then the Five and Dimes and the, the little mom and pop shops and the, all the stores in town started to migrate to this thing called the mall. Uh, now, the mall was pretty cool because if you go to the mall, right, if you were uptown, and uh, just imagine this, this area right here where we're riding, right, where there's shops all over the place. I'd park right here on the curb. I'd get off the motorcycle and I'd go walk shop to shop. Well, in the winter time, it was pretty darn cold. Pretty darn cold to be walking around in the winter time. So, with that said, they came out with this creation and started building what they called the shopping mall. So, the shopping malls took over and the towns kind of folded up and the stores migrated mostly into the mall. So, once they migrated into the malls, uh, it was nice because you can go there right in the winter time, do your Christmas shopping and everything, your holiday shopping, and, and uh, you could have short sleeves on because it was, it was climate controlled. It was heated uh, in the summertime. It was nice to go there. It was nice and cool. It was air conditioned. And uh, so, I mean, it, it, it worked out really, really well. And now in our areas, it's funny because we have these these things are uh, sprouting up all over called an outlet mall. Now an outlet mall is not an actual shopping mall. An outlet mall basically are a bunch of strip stores again. Back to the row stores. So it's kind of funny uh, looking at it that way. So yeah, I mean the towns consumed, you know, the mom and pop stores. They brought them all together in one place so everybody can shop. That made it nice. And then the um, and then uh, the shopping malls consumed all those stores and took them into the shopping malls. And now, you know, modern day changes, I guess the human uh, person, right? We evolve, evolve over the years and centuries. And now we're doing online shopping. So, huh. So my question for everybody out there is how much online shopping do you do this time of year? Uh, I am a member of Amazon Prime. So we get the free, you know, two-day shipping. And uh, we take a lot of advantages of that, that's for sure. To get the two, uh, the, the free two-day shipping, especially during the holiday season. And uh, works out extremely well for us. And uh, Mrs. HDR buys a lot of stuff on the other websites. A lot of different websites sell online now. So... So yeah, let me know. Let me sound, uh, hear you talk about it. Um, I know you often hear me talk about the House of Harley, houseofharley.com. It's a Harley dealer out of Milwaukee. And uh, whatever you can buy at your local Harley dealer, go there. If you don't mind waiting a couple days to get it, you're going to save about 20% on pretty much everything they sell, uh, from parts to clothing. So check them out. And let me know how many of you shop online. I don't want this mode of law getting any longer than that. So, I'll enjoy the rest of my ride. And I'll uh, say Sarenara to everybody out there. Hey, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, you know, hit that subscribe button. Follow along with the old rides here when we're out. And uh, by all means, uh, if you like it, hit the little thumbs up button. That's always a nice gesture, and I appreciate that. And uh, comment below and let me know. And most of all, if nothing else, remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there, and I will talk to you next time. Harley Day Ride is going to be down and out once again in southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye-bye for now, everybody.